Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is day... One second. <laughs> Today is day 17. Um, <laughs> that threw me off track. Okay. And so basically today's word is, I know the word, I just didn't know the day, which is crazy. <gasps> Ornament. And with this word, I basically just... I'm going to elaborate on it because I mean, the literal sense is I could just draw an ornament. I don't want to draw an ornament, nor do I want to make an ornament the focus point either. I want to just get a little bit more, I don't know, abstract, I guess. But I'm basically going to just add an AL at the end of this word and make it ornamental. Is that breaking the rules of Inktober? I, I don't know, but if you watched my video on the rules of Inktober, there are no rules. So it's pretty much a free for all as far as I'm concerned. Anyways, so with that in mind, basically just going to make an ornamental piece. So here's my paper, red colored pencil, fine liner, white gel pen, and finally my hoo-hoos. I will be using black, CG00, CG2, and CG4. But these aren't all the colors I'm using because I'm adding amazing pretty colors. So I've also got P3, Y2, R5, RP6, and lastly PB7. And of course, big thank you to Ahuhu for sponsoring this video. And as always, I'm gonna start with my sketch, let's get fancy. So I'm starting out with these curving lines up at the top, mostly because what I'm focusing on for this prompt is a witch's lair. And I just figured it'd be quite an ornamental kind of look. And basically from these strings are just gonna be hanging all different kinds of items that might be found in a witch's lair, or at least in my witch's lair. <laughs> so we've got like dried herbs, and hanging lantern so far, which is pretty cool. And usually I draw my witch's hats bent, but with this one, I'm gonna keep it really pointy and straight. Okay, so I've got a lot of craziness going on here. I don't know what the final outlook is gonna look like, but I'm just hoping it all comes together. So I'm gonna go ahead and line it. And that's the line art. And basically there's gonna be a lot of black in this piece with the background being black these lines being black, the witch silhouette being filled in black, kind of like we're seeing, I wouldn't say her shadow, but just uh, nothing's illuminated because all the light or all the color is going to be in these windows that I made in the background. And then the lanterns and everything else will be colored in. So I'm really hoping it's going to be a satisfying effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing these windows in the background. I'm just gonna do it in a yellow just to like kind of show warm light and I thought about starting out with doing all of the black areas first but I gave it some thought and I figured that might not be a good idea because I really want to avoid any sort of smudging in the colored areas so I feel like the more black I put down first the bigger the risk I take with the possibility of smudging Plus the good thing is, is if I happen to like, let's say, oops, I went into, you know, the figure of the witch, it's not that big of a deal because it's going to be filled in black. Whereas if I color it in black and then go outside the lines of the black, ooh, then I've got a problem. <laughs> it's funny because for this background, I had a really big grandeur idea of just so many things in the background that everything kind of started getting lost. So I X'd out quite a few things from this background. And I'm so glad I did because it was just gonna be way too much. And I didn't want it to look like she was a hoarder. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start filling in figure of the witch. This looks so cool. I don't know, it doesn't take much to amuse me to be honest, especially when it comes to art. I just really like this whole silhouette idea. Okay, so this part is done and it looks super, I was gonna say super school, <laughs> cause I wanted to say super cool and super spooky at the same time. So school, yes, it's super school. 
<sighs> Anyways, and then the background's going to be black too, but I wanted to go ahead and take a second to start coloring in the lanterns. And I pretty much want to make the lanterns like multicolor. I'm going to mix a little bit of white into some of them just by not coloring some of the white areas in. That way they pop out a little bit more because this one didn't really end up doing anything for me. Like it's just so dark and I don't know, not popping out because the background is such a strong yellow. So I'm going to try and do the same on this one. Or I kind of just outline certain areas. All right. And then it's funny because I have all these grays here and I haven't used them yet and I'm not sure. I don't know. Should I use them? I guess I could make the plants and stuff grayish, but I don't think that would look too good. Not too bad. And then just add a dab of color into some of these because I don't want them to look like they've been sitting there for ages. All right. And then I'm going to take my 120 Yahoo -hoo, and then start filling in the background. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to be taking my white gel pen because I ended up losing some of the detail with the black background. So I figured I'd clear it up a little bit. And that's that. And I really, really, really like the idea of it as far as the silhouette, the background, the windows. A part of me almost wants to make like the lines of the windows, but I think that would just be too many lines and I feel like it'd be distracting. So probably not. <laughs> but overall, I really like this one. I feel it does a pretty good job with representing the word ornament or in my case ornamental but I feel like the lanterns and like her herbs up top sort of came out as ornaments so it fits <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video maybe comment like and subscribe and I'll see you next time thanks guys bye